Okay, so what we have here is the Celtic cross bread. Um, that's what we're going to be using today to get a good insight on what exactly you're going to be seeing or dealing with or what you're currently dealing with right now um, in your love life. Uh, so the underlying energy is the Seven of Swords. This is not necessarily the best card to get because it's, it could be talking about um, it could be talking about lies, deception. Um, it could also be something sneaking away or someone not dealing with something. Um, so there's some, there's some there's, there's some um, I guess not positive parts, but not so negative portions about this card. Um, so we're just gonna have to look look at the spread here and see exactly what it is um, that is. Um, telling us it has something to do with um sneaking away or lies hopefully none of you guys are lying to anybody or no one's lying to you um but let's go ahead and get started with the reading so the first card that you have um on the heart of the reading here is the world now the world means that you have a successful completion hold on let me see if it'll focus focus okay perfect so the world card uh basically represents a successful completion uh, things going like the uh, end of a old um, end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. So it's just uh, it's almost like kind of not necessarily rebirth, but basically things just find like things changing due to a, a course of something running its course. Um, and what you have crossing it is um, the Four of Swords. Four of Swords basically means that you are taking a break or. Um, um, in order to like or not or in order to get to your to the successful completion but what's keeping you from it is that you're resting you're not doing anything you're pretty you know you're not you're not up and moving you're taking a rest at the moment or what this also could mean it could mean that um that you you've you've been through the cycle Just go ahead you, you can take a rest now you're resting which is totally understandable but i honestly think this just means that you're actually not, you're resting, so you're not able to get to that successful completion. Um, because the foundation of the reading here, you have the seven of wands, and that's basically standing your ground. You don't, you're just being defensive at the moment. Um, uh, it's, yeah, it's basically just being defensive. You don't necessarily, like, you're, you're winning the battle. You just, um, you don't want, you don't want to give up too soon. You just you're just trying to get to to the to, you know you're trying to get past something. Um, you got two sevens in here. See if you got any more. Yeah, so you got two sevens in this whole deck. So, so interesting, interesting. Um, but basically the um the foundation of this of the reading here is standing your ground. It's being the, quite defensive. So I don't know if you're being defensive or someone's being defensive with you. Um, but definitely there's some defensive energy here. Now, in your present, you have the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles basically means just holding on to things that you have that you see this, that you see have value in it. Um, it could also mean that um, that you're not opening up about your feelings. Um, you're not really expressing yourself. You're just kind of keeping everything closed in. You're holding what's yours very close to you. You're, you're keeping your heart from expressing itself, and that could be that could be you. It could be somebody else that you're dealing with. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull some clarifiers too, just to be sure that um, you know, see what exactly you're holding, some whatever someone's holding on to. But uh, just as an example, that's what it could mean. Um, um, but yeah, so something going on in your present that's keeping you or keeping this person from opening up, and or basically sharing some information, pretty much. And in the future, though, you do have the magician. So this basically means. Um, it can mean manifesting, it can mean communication, but ultimately it, it's having what all that you need to be able to do whatever you want to do. So you have, you'll have everything that you need. You'll be prepared to handle anything that's, that's going to be thrown at you. But most of all, it could be communication. Um, you could be communicating with someone or you could be, um, or you, you, you might want to manifest or you're going to be starting to manifest soon. But most, but I really honestly think intuition, intuitionally, I think, excuse me, intuitively, I think that, um, that this is, this is communication of some sort, because what you have here in your crowning energy is the Knight of Swords, someone that charges in 
very fast knight. I, I honestly feel that he's the fastest knight in the whole in the whole deck, um, because as you see here, he's running as fast as he wants. The the knight of wands, yeah, he's fast, but he's also very fun. He's not in any hurry. He's not in any rush. This guy is about to fight somebody, as you can see right here. He's got the sword right here, and even his, his even his ride looks pissed. You see him? They are really in it to go at some but something. So. They're charging in with some with fighting for some purpose, and it's honestly something he believes in. He's certain about whatever he believes in is worth fighting for. So this is kind of the energy that's going on right now. Um, what you're going to probably be dealing with, or what you're going to have to do, is fight for what you want, guys. Okay, and your feelings. You have the Ace of Pentacles, and this is a good thing to see after, since you have the the world in the heart of your reading. You feel like you've started a stable beginning, a new a beginning with a with um with some sort of foundation which is good this is good to have in your feelings um because honestly who wants to have a rocky start right no one nothing like you guys started something on something reliable and i think that's good or you could be you could have received a stable offer um of some sort or an offer of a new beginning or you could you of course or a new business venture um in your outside factors, you have the hangman. So it's kind of, kind of going along with the what was uh, crossed by, you know, what was crossed. As you see here, you have the hangman. Hangman is about waiting until you get a new perspective. So right now, you guys feel like, uh, you know, things are going slow, or you're just waiting. Things pretty much stopped, but you have to see something first. Something's gonna be, something's gonna come to light to you guys. So that way, you get to see whatever it is that it's, um, that it's gonna make, it's gonna get you moving forward. But um, for right now, everything's kind of st like in a standstill. So you're just kind of you're just waiting for that thing to to pop up so you can keep so you can move forward. Now, what you're hoping, what you're hoping for is, is two of pentacles. I don't necessarily know if you want to be juggling everything. Maybe you do. You want to juggle everything properly organized and as organized as possible. But you don't want everything to be kind of out of hand where you're juggling everything. And you're stressed out. That could be something that's that you could be hoping for too. Um, you don't want to probably like deal with too much at once. You don't want to be overwhelmed by everything that you're juggling by. Because as you see, he's also rolling on this thing too. He's rolling on this um, log here, trying to keep himself balanced while he's juggling two pentacles. So, yeah, I I totally understand that. You don't want to keep everything, you know. You want you want to keep everything organized. You don't want everything to kind of just take over you. You want to control everything. And make sure that everything has its proper time and everything. So it's just like kind of like moderation in all things here. And then in your outcome, you have the three of pentacles, which is taking action as far as going about your future. So you want to plan for the future. And that's pretty much your outcome. So basically what the outcome is, it's just kind of the summary of the reading. Eventually, um, what you're going to be going towards is planning for the future, moving forward. And you can't really do that when you have... And you have the hangman here. So you're waiting for that new perspective. But once that new perspective is over, this is what's your, what your outcome will be. Planning for the future. Using what you know and moving forward. All right. So let's go ahead and get some clarifiers in here. What the fuck the four of pentacles is. Sorry for my French. I don't know if you guys um, mind the cuss words or not. I cuss a little bit here and there. Um, but that's just that's just how I speak. Um, if it does bother you, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. But um, that's just well, that's just how I speak, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. For the Four of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands. Please clarify that's what the Four of Pentacles is. What is the Four of Pentacles? Oh, it's not letting me shuffle here. Can you see this? What is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Please clarify the Four of Pentacles. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and pull one more. Wow. 
seven, seven, seven. All right, so and then underneath the deck, you have the ten of swords. So you could be holding on to something due to a past, um, so to some betrayals in the past, possibly. Um, yeah, you see the guy, he is just toe up from the blow up, but yeah. Could be the reason why you're holding on to stuff, or someone that could be holding on to something is because of some passion issues, or some betrayal that they have received. Um, but looking at the three cards here to clarify the four of four of pentacles, you have the ten of wands. So that's being overbearing with responsibilities, or something being a burden on you. And um, seven of pentacles is a lot to do with um, doing some work, but you're just kind of waiting for the waiting to harvest with, you know the seeds that you've been planting. So, so it um it looks like to me so far that it's be like some sort of waiting was a serious burden, or something wasn't worth waiting for, in a way, because you also have the seven of swords here, which is also end up like I said before, is the, the lie lie deceiving card. Um, it could, it's also um not looking at something, just not dealing with something, um. But so it could have been something that wasn't worth looking for, or w worth waiting for. Excuse me, uh, something that was caused more burden than it had, had more, um, more reward, honestly, or something that you were, or like a burden on you as far as waiting for something, and it turned out to be false. That's just my interpretations of what that mean, what that means there for you. Uh, let's see what else to clarify. Let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Pentacles here as well. Oh, wow. Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords. Okay. Okay. And you got the last two cards. Queen of Wands and the Star. You guys, what's going on? And underneath this deck, you have the Six of Swords. This is the travel card, or this is the self-discovery card. Just basically soul-searching. Um, just um, basically finding out who you are, in a way. It's more of like like spiritual traveling. Also, but it could also be me physical traveling. could be moving house and things. Well, actually, I think the Four of Wands is more of moving house. This is just more of just yeah, traveling, moving. Yeah, so... Ooh, interesting, interesting. Um, so since you, then you have the Ace of Pentacles in your feelings, it has something to do with the, a Knight of Swords. So that could be somebody. Um, as I should have mentioned here, when you're crowning energy, you could be dealing with a um, a younger or immature air sign, which is a Libra, G Gemini, or Aquarius that you could be dealing with. Um, especially here in this reading here, that it could be somebody that has an air placement here or someone that really is knows what they want pretty much could be you that that could know what they want that could be fighting for what they want uh, it could be you charging into a situation and wanting things to be fast um, or it could be someone else and also it could be someone that is a fire sign that's a uh, a leo aries or cat um not capricorn excuse me um leo leo aries and sagittarius you could be dealing with an earth sign here or someone that has very like passionate characteristics ca characteristics of a wants so someone that's very creative very passionate very sexual social very charismatic um things or, or someone that's very hot that can be hot-headed sometimes too guys so um also look out for that as well and then you also have the star which is healing or something or manifesting and especially since you have the magician here in your um in in your present i honestly believe that um this is manifesting guys i think this is something you've manifested i think you've honestly manifested your new beginning which is amazing and i hope it really works out for you guys um so yeah this is what's clarifying your ace of pentacles very interesting very interesting because we don't need to clarify the um the magician but let's go ahead and clarify the hangman because what are we waiting for what perspective were you guys waiting for before you guys could start planning for the future let's get that set up okay you have temperance oh fudge what well, other two cards did you get? Wow, okay. The hangman twice and 
the five of pentacles and underneath that you again you guys you have the six of wands six of swords excuse me so that is this is a lot to do with traveling y'all where are we going um hey man so i think this has something to do with you guys maybe not waiting for a new perspective but waiting for you guys to get enough money because as you see here the five of pentacles is the charity card not the charity card excuse me it's um it's kind of like the broke card like you you see how they're poor and they're walking by the the, the church here with lights and everything it could be ignoring support is or it could be not having support but it could also mean that you don't have enough money to go ahead and go about your move um this could be the new perspective. That could be it. What you're waiting for is enough funds to go ahead and move. But at this, at this moment, you have to be, you have to keep things balanced. Excuse me. Because you have here in your hopes and fears the two of pentacles. So you're hoping that you can keep everything balanced. You can keep, keep everything, um, in my, you know, you can keep everything balanced. Um, so I honestly think this is just you guys trying to wait for, um wait for some money to come in you're waiting for that for whatever you're waiting for as far as being poor to come through so you can go ahead and go on with your move guys um but, but of course stay stay um stay balanced don't go out of balance guys um and since you had the clarifiers here for your new beginning as the queen of wands you could be dealing with sagittarius y'all could be dealing with sagittarius but again i don't necessarily just go by the, the what what each card sign stands for is you know what card well what sign stands for each card you know i mean it's i mean i use it as a guideline and it can be possible for you guys but it doesn't necessarily have to be a sagittarius it just could be you needing to balance things out all right i think i think we're gonna verify uh, clarify two more cards and then we're gonna go ahead and go on with the oracle messages let's do the seven of wands here Could I find seven wands first, please? Please clarify the seven of wands. Strength. Okay. Seven of wands, seven of wands. Six of wands. Okay. Please clarify the seven of wands, please. Ah, okay. So being so the foundation here was the seven of wands and that's like i said either being defensive or standing your ground honestly i think it's about standing your ground and interestingly enough the bottom of the deck for the clarifications is the worlds so successful completion so you're defending yourself pretty much or you're standing your ground regarding a, a, a completion of a cycle and uh, the card the first card you have here is strength you have the six of wands and then the fool now I think honestly with all these together is having strength to um towards victory of a new beginning or to, or to a new beginning the victory will be being the new beginning um so that is what you're that's why you're defensive you're just trying to get you're trying to you want your or you or you had victory in the past and this is your new beginning um that's the clearest I can honestly see this so you're using your inner strength you had your successful completion. You're, you, you're, you, you've reached that, and now you have your new beginning. 